to personally welcome the representative from the pallet company, Mr. Seth Harrison, our lecturer, Dr. Peter Melaliu, our prestigious judges and students of operations management. So we are Group C and our management consultant proposal is on the pallet company, optimizing their logistics system. So our team, my name is Tafa, I'm the client relationship manager. To my right, we have Karan, our research assistant and literature reviewer. Next to him, we have Amar, our Sorry, our project analyst, and then lastly we have Kanab, our team leader and primary research. So just an outline of our presentation. So firstly I'll be covering the first three aspects, followed by Karan who will talk about the issues addressed and the background. Amal will then present the problem investigation approach and the results of our project, followed by Kanab who will conclude our presentation with the analysis and recommendations. So the um, documents in front of you all are a copy of our executive summary, which will give you an in-depth description of our project proposal, as well as a copy of our PowerPoint. So just a brief introduction about the company. So Nick Barton established the company over 21 years ago as a recycler of used wooden pellets. And the pellet company is now New Zealand's leading pellet manufacturer and supplier of, with three branches across New Zealand. So the Auckland branch of the company is situated out in Glendine, um, specializing in making customized wooden pellets according to their customers' requirements and can serve up to 20 to 30 customers per day. The pellet company is known for their fast response to customers and low lead time, which gives them a competitive advantage over their competitors. So I'm just going to talk about the situation of our project and how it came to be. So the pellet company were quite pleased with the achievements of the previous projects conducted by previous students of operations management, that they wanted to gain some more insights on the probable improvements that can be made to the current business operations. So this resulted in the company presenting three potential projects for this year's operations students to consult as part of completing this course. So our project, optimizing the company's distribution system, was recognized due to the fact that the pellets were being low price commodity don't offer much of a profit margin for the company. Therefore, it becomes imperative that TPC cut down some of their costs to increase these profits. And one of these is their distribution system. So <laughs> our key recommendation that we have so far is um, awareness. So the fleet manager must be aware of the expected arrival time of the trucks so that the marking of pellets and allocating of forklifts is done before the truck arrives. So Kanal will explain more about the key recommendations. So now I'm going to pass it on to Karan, who will talk about the issues addressed in background. All the issues were identified. the issues regarding the loading time of pallets were identified after the visit to TPC. Uh, the issues are like queuing of trucks while loading, improper allocation of forklift to load the trucks and time wasted in marking the pallets before loading the trucks were identified during our visit to TPC. Background. Similar issues regarding the loading at warehouse were identified from a literature review conducted from other companies. Order picking. Order picking often consumes more time of warehouse labor, the impact that low order picking rates would have in the eventual delivery of goods to customers is evident from the data which shows that order picking consumes 54% of time, whereas truck loading consumes 4%, packing and packaging consumes 4% and receiving and put away consumes 24%, whereas other things consume 14%. Dispatch, picked orders should be arrived at the loading bay in the sequence in which they will be delivered to customers where the material, uh, delivering vehicle should be assigned at a bay close to the where the materials for dispatch are located. This will help in reducing the loading delays. Yeah. At the start of our project, we, our main area of focus was the delivery and logistics system, optimizing their product distribution, fleet utilization, and reducing waste by 50%. But at our second visit, with the end of our meeting with Seat Harrison and Rob Space, they asked us to focus mainly on a delivery system because they were facing, uh, they had a concern in uh, that the truck was spending more time at the customer place. But after collecting data, uh, we found out that the truck was not spending much time at the customer place, but it was spending more time at the TPC itself. This table shows about uh, that the 
the delivery time and the unloading time as we can see that not much time is spent in the uh, travel time and the unloading time except the delivery made at the steel and tube coil <coughs> processing high brew uh, its unloading time can be justified with the number of pallets now i will hand over to amar yeah. initially assumed problem delays in unloading pallets at the customer warehouse Initially, the data available was not enough to support the above assumption. Once data was collected through observation at the warehouse, this assumption was brought wrong, and the real problem found was delays in loading the pallets at the customer at the company's warehouse. Related to problem, truck waiting queues for their turn to, for their turn to be loaded. Investigation approach using primary and secondary research to investigate the time taken to load the trucks. Data collection method used, literature review, group meeting with the ballot company, on-site observations. As we can see in the slide, a lot of time was wasted while loading the trucks. At times, the truck had to stand in queue, which causes additional wastage of time. Some other reason behind the behind time wastage are ballot not marked before the arrival of the truck, improper allocation of Oh, for conflicts. Now I'll hand to Kanak. As we can clearly see in this slide, there were about 130 minutes wasted over five hours of loading the pallets to the trucks. Uh, the data was recorded twice by the team between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So we haven't considered the time that might have been wasted before that or after 3 p.m. So the actual figure may be more than 130 for the whole day. This means around wasting two hours and five hours. Uh, the team also noticed that uh, th these were some additional observations that we made while our visits in the company. We also noted that there was a pile of unused pallets lying in the company's warehouse. This means that that space is being underutilized which can be utilized to load more trucks at a particular time. Let us say there are two trucks in the company at the same time. Both of them can be loaded at the same time if we have more space, but this can only be done with if we have space. This will also address the problem of queuing that we have currently in the company. Also, due to limited space, the drivers had to move some of the material to and fro just to make more space to load the trucks, which also consumed a lot of time. Uh, this can also be eradicated if we have more space in the warehouse. As the data analyze, uh, to sum up the recommendations, I would like to say that the company's fleet manager should be well aware of the truck's expected arrival time before the truck arrives in the company. Uh, this can be judged from the GPS data. We have like GPS feeds for all the trucks. So this can be judged then that when the truck will be arriving. Seeing that we can mark the pallets before the truck arrives and the pallets can be prepared beforehand and the forklift drivers can be communicated about the expected arrival of the truck as well so that they are ready to serve the truck as soon as it enters the company and minimal time is wasted in the company's premises. Some of the areas of future investigation are uh, the data that we analyzed was quite limited. We went to the company for two days to analyze the data, which gave us limited access to data. So more data can be analyzed to be more accurate in the results. Furthermore, synchronization of the production and distribution seems a uh, viable option to the team because it is very crucial to synchronize the production and distribution channels to prioritize the customer orders so that the delivery people, uh, the trucks, don't go to the same area twice during a day to deliver a particular order unless and until the quantity is so high that we can't deliver it in one, one go. Oh no. Yeah. The, the team also tried to benchmark the processes with other companies. Uh, we looked into DHL and the main problem was that all these companies use barcode scanning system, but our company doesn't have that. But this is not a problem for the current system that we have at the company because obviously the pallets are marked before they are sent for deliveries. 
So if we have the GPS data, as I have said, if we analyze the GPS data to come to know when the truck is ex when the truck is arrived, expected to arrive in the company, then we can mark the pallets beforehand, and then everything can be sorted. So most of the time is wasted in selecting the orders that are to be dispatched. As Karan has already said, it's 54 percent. So the company is also wasting time. TPC is also wasting time in that, which can be reduced. Thank you. The background slide where you talked about order picking, uh, percentage of time there, the packing orders for dispatch, dispatch. Yep. And that, you mentioned some percentage of that. Where did you get that external data from? From, uh, from the other company. Which other companies? The DHL company, yeah. We did some literature review through some journals and we found this data for DHL. And did, did your interview with DHL reconfirm those numbers? No. But but we, we thought it's accurate because it was a published journal. Yeah, so that pretty much speaks of the data's accuracy. Um, how practically will this information that's generated on the GPS, mm -hmm. uh, so the GPS information is, on, is, a, is arriving, coming into a computer somewhere mm -hmm. on the bridge of this Starship Enterprise or whatever, um, where must that information go next? Uh, where must the information go next? Who is the person it must go to and, and, and how does it practically as, get as, as we had a meeting with Sage uh, the other day, we discussed about a person who will be looking after the trucks, who will be dedicated to looking at the trucks. So we call it fleet manager. So the person who is looking at these trucks should have the expected arrival time of the trucks, which can be known from the GPS. So when he has that, the only thing that's left is marking the pallets and informing the forklift drivers. So he can do that. Marking the pallets can be done beforehand, which can be communicated to the people, workers, and same is with the forklift drivers. I'll take a step further and, and talk about the practicality of how that actually happens. So if I'm a forklift driver, I've been given a job to go and get some raw material, start cutting. Unbeknownst to me, there's a, there's a truck coming in in the next... 15 minutes, how, how am I actually going to be informed? How does the fleet manager, number one, get informed if he's got other work to do? Um, does he need to go and continually check that computer or is there something which actually tells him uh, proactively uh, that he needs to do something? And, and the same with the forklift driver. Uh, there, we didn't research into the solution for some message system or something that the fleet manager will get automatically so one thing is he'll have either have to go to check the expected arrival time for the truck or the driver can text the manager that I am expected to arrive in 15 minutes so that's a viable option yeah. and regarding the forklift drivers I saw in the company that we have four to five forklift drivers who, who operate in the company so I guess everybody won't be busy at a particular time so if we communicate the last team that last project that we had recommended open mic system mm -hmm. so if we announce make an announcement in the open mic system that a, tr a truck is expected to arrive in so and so time the whoever the driver is free will be like will wait for the truck for two minutes let's say and then start because we noticed that whenever one forklift serves the truck, it, it, it almost took twice the time to, serve the, to load the truck when we use two forklifts. So, in other words, the, the open mic system, I understand, was recommended and, and has been implemented. Okay. So, the question is whether the open mic system can be linked in to, presumably, there is either a cell phone or some communication capability with, with the trucks that could be 
connected into the open microphone. Uh, we'll look into that for the final report, but we haven't looked it into now. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. I mean, if we can get automatic messages, the manager won't have to go to track the trucks again and again. Yeah. He'll just have information in his hands and be ready yeah. to go. Yeah, there, there, there may be a duplicate system, a parallel system of, of the, the truck he can self says or himself says. No. I'm arriving at the thing, but that's not fail safe. Yep, yep. Then, then uh, if the GPS data is there, it, it, it it will know when that truck has arrived. There, there must be some way that it can say, oh, the truck's expected in 15 minutes, and then it, it, it sends some kind of message, either a, a, a message into the um, open mic system, that's, that's a, an oral message, mm -hmm. or some other communication system. That's, but given the open mic system appears it's implemented, and that's what it is working. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's working. I think um, I, I agree with Peter, and we'll talk about recommendations in a minute. Mm. But we also need to, to think about um, it's one thing to say the fleet managers should stay well informed on the trucks expected at arrival, but how is he going to do that? You know, we, we, people are doing 100 things in a day. How, how does he stay that? We don't have one person who can stay looking at a screen all day. Mm. We just need to figure out how that happens. Because it's a management by, it's not quite a management by exception, but it's a, it's, it's a known exception that's going to arrive. It's, it's, who takes precedence? Does the truck drive the precedence for, for pulling out a, a, a forklift, or, does, or must the production take top top priority? Uh, that's uh, presumably an, an issue that needs re re resolving. Uh, that recommendation is because uh, when we were at the company, we saw that some of the forklifts were moving material from the heat treatment chamber to the back of the warehouse. Uh, those forklifts can be dedicated to the trucks, but they were not. They were just doing their work. So that way, that's not a priority. Loading the truck is a priority. I'm not sure about that. But maybe the loading the truck is a priority and moving the pallets from the heat treatment chamber at the back is not. Okay. So we can use those forklifts. And so put that into your recommendations. So that, that's a really good recommendation. Very simple thing. Yep. A really good recommendation to say if a truck's weight needs to be loaded, that's the priority for all forklifts. Yep. Or at least the ones out in the air. Mm -hmm. mm. How soon does the truck manager, fleet manager, need to know that a truck is, is about to arrive? 15 minutes, is, <laughs> 15 minutes is ample of time because it hardly takes 10 minutes. As we notice, it hardly takes 10 to 15 minutes. At max, it took, it took 15 minutes to mark the pallets. At max, in our four observation, it, at max it took 15 minutes. So 15 minutes should be ample of time for the manager to know. Right. that the truck is arriving so that the pallets can be marked. Yeah. The observations that you took, do you think the more you mentioned about having more days to have a look at it, do you think that the amount of time that you've seen being wasted would, would change markedly or do you think that that is probably a good indication of what's happening? It's, it's probably a good indication but if we want better accuracy I just suggested that we can look at more data but we looked at it twice and it sounded similar. I mean, we saw similarity in the data. Okay. Yep. It must be analyzable from the GPS data as well. The, the, the GPS data should. No, we are talking about in-house activities, not about the trucks. Ah. But the GPS would show how long a truck is stationary. So if it's stationary at the pallet company, it would say how long. Yep. Yep. Okay. It does say that. Yeah. So that's relatively easy to get access to that data and analyze that data? Yep. Yeah, yeah, so. But that won't tell us how much time that truck spent while it was being loaded, how much time it spent as waiting for, waiting oh. to be loaded. All right. So it will tell us the time that it was at this location for this long. 
it won't tell us these tick bits of That's right. these segments yeah but you've got some estimates now about how long yeah, it takes yeah. to load because actually the time that it actually takes to load that rack is not time wasted we have to undergo that process sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but you've got estimates now about how long it takes to load yeah a yeah truck. because one day uh, a truck was waiting for 60 minutes a single mm -hmm. truck was waiting for 60 minutes um, that's sheer wastage of time any other questions? That, that can mean maybe we make one more delivery in a day mm -hmm. if we can save two to three hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The value of one of these trucks is, is well worth three, four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not something we want to keep and, sitting out of. And we, we, we won't be involving anything much in implementing these recommendations. These are quite easy to implement. Just shifting the time and knowledge, awareness, that's it. But it, is there a fleet manager position there, right? Right. Um, we, we're in the, in the process of rearranging roles and responsibilities so that somebody takes care of logistics. It'll be a, a shared responsibility in terms <coughs> of it's not his sole responsibility. Yeah. He'll have other things to take care of. Right. But um, we do want to put more focus on the logistics. Yeah. So the more automated yep. warning, warning, crap arriving, <laughs> 10 o'clock high, <laughs> the more it will help that person uh, efficiently uh, improve that role. Okay, oops, give my hand, cheers. Your presentation have really good structure. All the details has been present step by step. That's really good. Yeah, I agree. Good flow and uh, knowledge. You know what you are saying. Good teamwork. Uh, yeah, particularly impressed to see a, a, a literature review explicitly um, in, in, incorporated into the, the presentation. Yeah, Malamat is also commenting on, on how good your literature reviews are, are developing as well. Um, I think the, 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 the best thing about this presentation is the analysis and those tables. They're, they're gold, to be honest. Um, but you can't argue with that. As, uh, as I said to you guys initially, I, I had my own thoughts about where the trucks are being held up. Yeah, yeah. And I love being proven wrong. And I love being proven wrong where it's irrefutable. Um, as I said, that's gold. That's real good. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with that because data is very persuasive. Instead of, uh, um, yeah, that's all. Okay, areas uh, of improvement. Why don't we start with you? If you like, and pass it mm, maybe to be a bit, a little bit louder. <laughs> Some of the team members. Yeah, great. Uh, just a little bit louder because this will sound more patient. Just on that literature review, you mentioned some uh, some numbers there, some statistics, um, and uh, uh, it would be good to have those on the slide. Uh, I usually say less is more, put less on the slide, but in those cases, that I, there were some crucial stats, and I said, "Oh, what was that? What was that?" <laughs> it was too late. Yeah, agree with Peter. That's a good point. Um, Two things from me. First thing is the start. I take a leaf out of the previous team. Try and get a point of engagement to start off with. I don't. I don't know how you do that, but I'm just rather than just going introducing the team. I think there's got to be a, a just a something which gets you interested straight away. Uh, and the second thing is the recommendations are great. Like they're, they're really good recommendations. I just like to take that next step again. Go benefits. You mentioned if we can do this, we can get an extra load a day. You know that's actual value for the company. Yeah. So let's let's I would as I say have your recommendation slide and then also have the benefit slide. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll say that try to be more louder and then more catchy when you speak. Yeah. Instead of one or two in flat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any more positive points to add? Yeah. Cool. I also like to like 
would like to point out the effort you took to get these uh, calculations, the time you spent <coughs> with the forklift drivers. So I think it's very, very valuable. Yes, I, I, I know from my uh, your previous class, I say if it's measurable, measure it. If it's not measurable, make it measurable. And uh, an excellent investigation with uh, data evidence argument for a, for a contrary uh, proposition. So uh, excellent on that. Um, and I think this is, this is going very well in terms of um, quanti quantifying the the benefits because we didn't have actual costs involved, so we quantified it in terms of time. Mm. Yes. So time savings means cost savings. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Time, yeah. Is time is money. Yeah. And 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 utilizing expensive assets which are hanging around waiting is is another is another thing. Um, yeah. And so good good flow amongst amongst all of you. Yeah. Some of you just relying a bit too much reading. Um, uh, overcome that in future presentations. Final positive points from you guys? Um, mine is that I can absolutely see that these um, will be implemented in the company. I mean they're not overly complex, they sound really really simple but the outcomes that they'll have for the pallet company will be um, definitely achievable. So um, I think that's a really good outcome for you guys. Basically, they sum up the points, and yeah, I think this is simple and nice, and then I'm um, easy to understand, and then yeah, achievable. Any other points from anybody else? Give me a hand. Okay.